Hello, I am Ken, and this video is going to demonstrate how to set your abilities to different buttons in Reckoning. Uh, there's some people on the forums that have had some trouble with this, so I figured I would make this video, show you how it's done. So I'm going to load up a character that I have ready to demonstrate with, and we're going to start by opening up his abilities uh, screen. And you notice I'm on the controller UI right now. If I move the mouse, it'll switch over to the mouse and keyboard UI, but we're going to set up the controller buttons first. So you notice when you have an active ability selected, like the circle, that map ability to UI button is enabled. So you hit A to map to the UI, and now all of our, all of our abilities are already mapped, so you have to clear them before you can map another one. So you use the X button to clear these slots and then use the A button to slot Harpoon in the A button slot. And doing the same thing with Quake, select Quake, hit A to map ability to UI, select the space corresponding to the B button, and then hit A to slot Quake. Same thing with Wrath. A to map ability to UI, move the, stick, move the circle with uh, the left stick to the X position, and hit A to map the ability. And finally, Warcry, we're going to put on the Y button. Only one left. Now we do have another uh, active ability here, Battle Frenzy. And we only have four slots. Now if you're on a PC, you can work around this problem by setting your fifth ability to the fifth slot and using the right mouse button. I know you have to reach down to the right mouse button while you're using your controller. It's kind of silly, but Anyway, to, sh to map things in the mouse and keyboard interface, it's much simpler. You just drag and drop. So you can drag and drop to whatever number you want to activate the uh, right-click ability. And we'll put, put Battle Cry on uh, Battle Frenzy on the number 5 button. So if, then you hit, if you're in the game and you hit 5, you can use right-click to toggle Battle Frenzy anytime. Now something you should be aware of is that if you map the abilities in the mouse and keyboard, it does affect the controller uh, abilities also. So position 1 will go to the X button, position 2 to the Y button, position 3 to the A button, and position 4 to the B button. Uh, so I like to use the controller to map for the controller and only use mouse and keyboard for the fifth ability that I want to use with my right mouse button. That's all there is to it.